Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making sheet pan chicken and asparagus. Alright guys, I'm starting out here a large sheet pan that I lined with some parchment paper. And I have six chicken breasts. Now the thick ones I cut in half and the more skinnier ones are normal sized ones I left whole. And I have some asparagus here. I'm going to start by seasoning this. I'm going to season it all with some salt. And it's going to be a really quick and easy meal because I work today and I really don't feel like going overboard. I'm going to put some pepper on this. And my wife Holly had off today and she says Dexter was quiet and behaving himself. And as soon as I walked in the door, all, all, you know, all that came out of his mouth was Ricky, Ricky. So he must recognize me, guys. I know he recognizes when I'm recording. Okay, I'm going to put some granulated garlic on this. Don't use garlic salt because we added salt. Garlic powder, granulated garlic will work fine. Just light dusting. I hit that one a little heavy, but that's all right. Some onion powder. And some Italian seasoning. Okay, now I have a half a stick of butter here I melt. I'm going to dump that over the chicken and the asparagus. We're just going to do a quick drizzle here. Now I'm going to put this in a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. Then when the 20 minutes are we'll pull it out and move on to the next step. Alright guys, now that my 20 minutes are up and our chicken's looking good and the asparagus is cooked, I'm going to take some sliced provolone cheese and we're going to put a slice on each piece of chicken. It's going to be yummy, guys. It's going to be yum, yum, yum. Now I'm going to take a slice of tomato and put a slice of tomato on each piece of chicken. And guys, if you never had tomato and cheese combined, and it looks like I'm one tomato short, but that's fine. If you never had tomato and cheese combined, you're missing out because it's delicious. I'm going to take a little bit of uh, shredded Parmesan cheese, put that on top of the tomato. Put a little bit on that one. My niece, or great niece, JC, doesn't like tomato, so she can have that piece of chicken. Now I'm going to put that back in that 400 degree oven for about three minutes till the cheese is, cheese is melted and the tomato is heated through. But before I do that, before I forget, I'm going to hit it with a little more Italian seasoning, guys. For extra flavor and color. Okay, I'm going to get this into the oven, and after three minutes, I'll have you guys back. Alright guys, this just came out of the oven. It's ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Alright guys, let me get in here and try this. Start with some chicken. See the chicken's cooked through, and it's one of the thicker breast. Nice and moist, tender, good flavor. Try with old tomato. It's really good. Now, if you want to turn this into an easy chicken parm, after you bake the chicken. Instead of putting a tomato on, dump some jarred uh, pasta sauce in there and then put your cheese on. And have a really quick and easy chicken parm. See, that's cheesy. It's really good. You get them spices, you get the flavor from the cheese and the chicken. You get that delicious flavor of the tomato. Let me try a little asparagus, guys. Asparagus is good. Get the seasonings and the butter on that. Has a slight little crisp to it. It's not mushy at all. That's really good, guys, and it was easy. All right, there you have it. Sheep pan, chicken, and asparagus. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see ya.